What a day. Good morning, 14th of May. Lovely sunny day yesterday, and it look it's looking like it's going to be yeah an absolutely brilliant day again today. Um, fortunately, I uh, put the timer on the spa, um, water last night. There we are. So 74.3, 75 degrees wanted, so I can start um, mashing in quite soon. Um, going for the Velin Voil Extra Special Bitters today. Um, I'll put the grain bill on later on. The only real addition is some, I think it was 430 grams of sugar um, at Flame Out. Um, and, and that's it really. Um, we'll go through the grain bill and the hops later on. Um, I will say I have done a couple of brews since um, I had problems with uh, my efficiency really. And um, what I have found and I've got back online um, with regards to that was I've not used the steam hat and condenser which I have here, those two items there and um, just put the fan on here and let the, um, uh, the steam blow out that big window that I can open fortunately and everything's been cracking I'd be maybe a, a point or two out that's all and um, the beers themselves have turned out great not tried this one yet this one here is still fermenting here um, this is the conflux um, got the recipe off at the lunch thank you brilliant last time so um, here we are guys 19 degrees for seven days so 16th of May bring it down to 50 degrees and add some citra and Idaho 7 and then um, 19th of May cold crash for the day so uh, we've got the, all that going on as well in the background but, um, this is a firm favourite of mine the Relly Royal Extra Special Bitter so we'll uh, get cracking with that so I'll uh, see you in two seconds take care so we've uh, reached the strike temperature so torrified wheat some small amount about 30 grams of black malt crystal malt and the rest is marisotta um, about three and a half kilos there going for a 23 litre batch so I'll pop that in Right, uh, so these are the plans. Looking for a pH. I don't know if you can see that, guys. pH is 5.5 .5 is required. Let me just close the curtain behind me. That might be better. Yeah, so 5.5. .5 and that. pH 5.5. .5. We have a pH of... 5.6 I ain't gonna mess around with that 5.5857 not gonna mess around with that guys that's um, spot on as it is let there be light forty five minutes left on the mash here we go guys might turn that up a bit but yeah it's all going well recirculating what have you just seen there? That's going fine. So, time to put some uh, YouTube on. Have a look at some of the uh, people I follow. If you don't already follow them, Rick Shaw's a good one, Harry Brew69. Um, there's absolutely plenty of them. Um, we'll run through a bit of them later on so I can just uh, pick banana and all that. We'll, we'll put them up on the screen, people I follow. And uh, maybe you can pick up on some what um, some that I follow because they're pretty good. I learned a lot of them and a uh, bit of fun watching as well. So uh, catch you up later, guys. See you in a bit. Don't know what happened there. Forgot to go through the recipe with you. So 4.23 kilograms of Maris Otter, 430 grams of torrified wheat, 170 grams caramel crystal malt, 30 grams of that black malt. 430 grams of cane sugar the hops so 28 and a half grams on the challenger on the boil 10.2 grams Bramley cross boil 60 minutes 10.2 grams 
East Kent Goldings 60 minutes and 10.2 grams of progress 60 minutes and um, 15.7 probably 16 grams of East Kent Goldings last 10 minutes of boil uh, those are my water additions I'm going to go for SO4 Safale and um, aiming for Uh, where are we? So the batch volume is 30. Original gravity of 10.42. Final gravity of 108. And a 4.5% bitter. Or extra special bitter, I should say. Right, I'll catch up in a bit, guys. I will just go through a few of the... Um people that I watch and follow and have subscribed to on uh, YouTube so uh, this guy's been missing for about 11 months ago I like to watch uh, him when I first started to do the brew tools he was uh, ahead of me and uh, got a lot of tips off him so uh, yeah I've not seen him for quite a while but it's 8 pie brewing I think he does a bit of gaming as well but uh, yeah he's not been on for quite some time I uh, hope he's okay um, Abbey Homebrew uh, always like his uh, talks same position all the time it's brilliant um I like listening to him and he's a liverpool fan as well so uh and uh, all the best to tom his son who's not been well lately then we uh andrew lynch he's another fantastic brewer he's um giving me some advice along the way and uh, it's always been great so andy lynch there he is there so pick him up he's brilliant and if you don't know who this guy is, Big Banana Brewing, you know, I haven't got a clue what his name is, but um, I watched him since day one, really. Very uh, funny character and um, great tips, and he always um, replies to any questions and gives advice. He's absolutely brilliant. Um, if you don't know who he is, you're not really into home brewing in my books anyway, so uh, yeah, um, big up to Big Banana Brewing. He's, he's brilliant. I've just... Um, started following um, Bramble Backroom so um, in the last week or so so I'm yet to go through some of his stuff so but I've uh, subscribed he's um, seems to be putting some good stuff up there here's another great character Brew a bit rickshaw brilliant um, funny guy on here and uh, to be fair he's really into the homebrewing community and um, he's right up there in my estimations with uh, sharing his beers and stuff and uh, he uh, always likes and subscribes and, and asks you to follow other people, so that's brilliant. Um, a great guy for as home brewers. Um, brew father, brew tools. Another new one for me within the last week or so, Brew Cat Brewery. Um, saw the Citra Cognito and Spectrum Hazy Pale yesterday, brilliant. And um, But I need to catch up on this guy. Um, he's got some brew tools kit and also a I think he's got gone up to the grandfather as well so yeah there's another good one for you Cheshire homebrew fantastic character it's this guy here that's DTS we'll be coming up to him next time um, but yeah Cheshire homebrew fantastic um, watched him for some time as well um, a few years back I picked up on um, Cheshire homebrew brilliant Craig Tube is one of the things I first started off really he's not been around for quite some time crew wolf is another great character um i do like his uh, channels and his um his channels right up there really it's with uh whoever does his artwork and stuff it's brilliant maybe it's him uh maybe let us know because uh it's pretty cool to be fair and he does some great beers gets his choice Missed him for, I think he didn't come on for the last uh, 12 months, did he? Uh, not not being too well, I don't think, but uh hope he's uh, feeling better. And uh, he is another character as well. Really like his uh, channel. One of the first people who helped me out, actually, uh, when I first started brewing back in 2017. And um, I was on the old class line machine when I first started going from the bucket, so to speak. 
into all green and uh, helped me quite a lot so I'm an uh, avid follower of uh, Sarah to be fair DTS um, great channel guys if you get, ever get a chance uh, to watch this he, I think he's into his Morgan um, cars as well but yeah brilliant I like to watch this channel quite a lot Dudes Brews I watch uh, them as well Flat Beer Brewing watched him for some time actually as well um, comes and goes um, doesn't do every week but uh, it's like uh, two three months at a time so but yeah he's a good one to follow as well and uh, happy anniversary to uh, Four Piece Brewery 12 months I think to last week um, doing very very well and uh, very honest uh, shows the ups and downs of brewing and uh, that's what I like about them, these kind of channels people are quite honest um, it's not all fantastic is it you know it always get some problems and get the highs and the big lows as well so yeah that's brilliant and number one in my estimation guys Harry Blue 69 the talented fella absolutely brilliant he's been busy doing um, some uh, home renovations or building work but um, his brewing and that's amazing you need, really need to get onto this uh, guy he has absolutely brilliant most probably all of you do anyway homebrew griffo yeah another Welsh lad brilliant uh, quality um, brewer I think all his beers turn out fantastic they look well anyway never tried them mine but you know he's he won some awards and uh, he's fantastic so uh, have a dog brewery there's another one that's uh, not been on for 12 months pretty good to be fair to him Lord's Brewing there's characters here it's a bit slow coming up on this one but yeah Lord's Brewing if you can get a chance to see them uh, quite a good channel made by martin there's um another one that i've been following for years um a lot more to this guy than just uh, brewing but yeah hopefully he's gonna get um a brewery set up quite soon um don't know why that's not coming up guys but made by martin i'll just show you that mr scotch pie there's another good one if you're not um he does kits and um all green small batches pretty good to be fair to him very good um beer tasting if you're into that kind of thing new to homebrew tom he's been missing for quite some time um but he he, he was the top end um the same as harry homebrew very good friends together i think and um well worth watching him he's been a bit busy of late i think moved home and started a new business um i'm led to believe Pat's Brewery, another good character there. Peter Hodge, brilliant ca character this guy. Uh, if you really need to get into Peter Hodge, he's uh, qu quite a funny fella. And um, Bowtie Brewery, he's into his trains as well. So, uh, but I'm I'm into the uh, the beer that he's, he's he does. So and he's just started with the brew tools, the same as I do. So that's uh, another good one for you to look at. I look at Portly Gentleman, uh, that's for brew tools more, more than anything. Sunbear Brewing, there's another one guys, Sunbear Brewing, he's all right. um, just start, I've just started following him as well. Um, Ginger Brewers, and I think, oh, Tiny Shed Brewing from uh, down London way. VOC, I think that is Vale of Cluid. Um North Wales, Gary, haven't seen you in for a while, mate. Hope you keep it well. And Yorkshire Hobrew. Last but not least, uh, another great character. He's just come back on in the last week, been away for a few months. And uh, so, yeah, all the very best to all those guys and keep putting some. Um, stuff on guys really really does uh, 
make me uh, happy when you put some stuff on uh, it's I love watching it I don't watch much TV per se so um, I watch YouTube I like to learn a bit of things every now and again and um, but watching you guys is is what I love doing so yeah brilliant keep it up guys keep it up so we're still 90 minutes ago on the mash guys Thank you very much. Somebody told me to extend the hose, which I have. It is working much, much better. Thank you very much. I can't remember who did say that to me, um, but thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. The, uh, we're at 59 degrees on the sparge water. So yeah, it, oh, looking well, guys. And it just, it's, there we go. It's all right, isn't it? some light in here now it's gone a bit dark up there yeah so there we go guys happy days i'll bring you back online in two ticks see you in a bit uh i'll just go back for two seconds to show you there um the ones that didn't come up but that's sun bear brewing's channel Tiny Shed Brewing There's uh, Gary's VOC Home Brewing um, Yeah, it hasn't been on for in 10 months I think So, hope everything's okay Gary And uh, Yorkshire Home Brew There he is So yeah, he's been missing for about 5 months He's uh, put something up about 4 days ago so try to catch up with those guys. Brilliant. Yeah, I wanted to show you their channel anyway. Apologies, Wi-Fi's not working that well this morning. Don't know what's happened. But yeah, brilliant. Keep it up, guys. Mashing is complete, but look how clear that is. Really clear. Worked very, very well today. Right, we get sparging. There, guys, sparging away. Yeah, guys, got the boil going. There we are. Put that down there. Let's get these hops in. Confirm that boil. There we are. Those are the hop guys. Just gone in. And there we go. Next editions will be in uh, 44 and a half minute time. Fan on. Out that window. Spot on. Need to clear all this mess here now. I've got 44 minutes to do it in. There we are. Like a pea soup. I'll see you in a bit, guys. So I just added the uh, proto flock. Um, that was on the last 15 minutes of boil. I've got just over 15 grams of East Kent Goldings to go in for the last 10 minutes and also I will add granulated sugar uh, the full 500 grams there uh, post boil volume is 34.38 that's what it says on the tin but we're just under the 35 there so hopefully I'll be down to uh, about 34 and a half by end of play Last remaining seconds guys, but that's just underneath 35 and a half, which I'm happy with. Wanted 34, uh, sorry, 34.38. So that, that's 34 and a half, sorry. Um, still pumping through the chiller. Just wanted to show the last results. What I'll do now is guys, before anything else is switch off and let everything drop down. The turbinator is already inside. I'll um, slow the recirculation, get a nice cone in there and try to cop, um, grab all that hot matter down the bottom end there. Alright guys, I'll see you in two minutes. Yeah guys, quite clear wort, to be fair. Try to aerate that, 
So uh, measured it at 34 degrees with the um, calibration required. Um, I got 1040 uh, original gravity. The recipe said 1042, quite happy with that. Get it down to 1008. Should get a 4% extra special bit out of this. So yeah, happy days. A good brew day. Oxygenate this. Get it down to temp 20 degrees. And then I'll bang in the SO4 yeast. So, uh, great lads. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, if you do like and enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and uh, subscribe. And share if you can. And uh, as I said before, thanks very much for all your, your advice, lads. Makes makes uh, this um, brew day go much smoother. Um, and I'm very, very happy at the moment with how my, my brew days are going on. So, right, I'll get this emptied into here and uh, get it fermented. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. I'll see you soon.